Hello everybody, my name is Beck. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I look really crusty today because I am actually sick and I don't feel like cross-contaminating my makeup and I'm trying to isolate myself because I caught the spicy flu. Very first time in my life, fortunately, no matter what precautions you do, if you have a lot of people around you that have it, you will catch it. That is what i've come to discover so i had to take a week off work today it is the 12th of um, february monday i kind of slept in a little bit i try to relax because i can't look at bright things too long and my concentration is shot to hell at the moment and what better chance than to go through my designated february tbr even though i don't know how much of it i'm actually gonna go through so this is my TBR if you have watched the previous videos but I like to add a little bit extra. I'm beginning to see that I do have a couple of books that I should be getting through. I'm actually up to the third book for both series so things we heart left behind by Lucy School, third book of the series, um, Knock Em Out. And I also have Final Offer by Lauren Asher, this is the third book so I'm the final book of the series so I could actually finish off a series if I wanted to. Now that I have like a week off, even talking right now it's like using a lot of energy and it's like very difficult to breathe because I do have underlying health issues because so having this is not ideal considering I've avoided it for like more than four years at this point four years five years how long has it been you know what um yeah I mean I've been doing my best to avoid it but here we are if I suddenly stop talking and there's a lot of cuts in between I'm trying to breathe I also have the pucking around series I do have the prologue I do I get confused with these because um, they look about the same. Yeah, I'm usually at work, working, so I don't really have time to pick up a physical book. I sometimes listen to audiobooks, but not romance. I tend to listen to thrillers because I like having the knowledge of people around me and I don't get scared. I also like listening to horror as well. It was not mentioned in the TBR, but it has been, well, this month's TBR, but it has been mentioned in previous TBRs, so I have this as well. And another series I like to finish... I've been pretty good this month. I might as well do a wrap up as well towards the end, but we'll see if I can even get through like a single book. Like I said, my attention span is pretty bad because of that. But yeah, I actually managed to finish this one that I set out to do, so that's not bad. Second book of the series, so yeah. The goal is, ideally for today, I'm going to start on things we left behind. I've actually started like rereading a whole bunch of like older books in my catalogue and I would, I would like to go through my actual TBR instead of like rereading like the same thing over and over again. But it gives me comfort because when I'm, at least when I'm sick or unwell, I don't want to try something new. But this is something new and similar at the same time because I've read the previous two books. So we're just going to have to start on this and it is currently 2.23. Why am I better at speaking and talking when I'm actually sick? It forces me to like sit down and really think about like what I have to say. But this one, the reason why I'm not reading this is because I actually read it a couple of times. Um, I listened to the audiobook from start to finish because I didn't get my physical copy until like a day later. And then when I got this, I read it again. So I've read it twice already and I'm trying to put it down and read something new. It is different. I have read Omega Verse before, so I'm not new to the whole genre, but a lot of people are brand new to this. So it is funny. I'll talk about this towards the end, but I didn't read it this week. I read it like on the first day of it coming out. So and that was last week. And I have filmed a couple of weekly vlogs that I need to stream to Together, but the chances of me posting those are very like slim. I think this one has a higher chance of getting posted because I have nothing better to do than to stay at home and read. But anyway, my chest is starting to like feel a bit weird, so I'm going to lie down and read a book. And I do want to start on this series as well, and I want to uh, read Love Redesign by Laura Nasha as well. Plenty of stuff that I want to read. Like, there's a pile here too, and I vlog video and my whole video I haven't filmed it a couple coming in as well so you know what better chance to film this and i also need to buy a couple more um moisture absorber because i live in australia and it is disgusting let me put it down it's been used i need to I, I saw that came out recently did a restock online so I need to do a restock myself I'm gonna have to buy a bit more this time around because it is really humid not not a good time for me to be sick with this for those of you who celebrated Luna New Year a couple of days ago at this point that you're watching it it would have been like three days ago well no a week ago at this point by the time I get to edit it I get um I call it lacy because I'm Cantonese so the Chinese the Chinese call it lacy 
And then, uh, or you can speak Mandarin and you call it Hong Bao or Ang Bao if you're from like, I think Singapore, Malaysia, people call it that. Depending on where you're from. Anyway, I'm, I'm being delusional. I'm like looking at my TBR card and there's a couple of more that I'll like to read, but I'm trying to go through my physical TBRs. And I do have a couple of neck alley arcs that I like to go through as well, but today we're just gonna stick with this one. I'm just gonna take it easy, read a bit by bit. I can get somewhere today, since I actually have time now. A couple of things I need to buy before I completely forget again, like those moisture absorber things. Maybe I'll look at the books as well. There's a couple of new releases I like to buy as well from Kmart. I decided to take a shower and I'm using this new skincare thing. I didn't know how to use the cleanser so I used serum and the cream. And that's basically all slapping on my face with some pimple patches. Content guys. If this is what you wanted, I'm, I'm going to give it to you. This is brand new. I've never used it before so I don't even know if it's going to break me out even more. Hello, hello. Now it is currently 2.57, um, 13th of Feb, so the next day. So what ended up happening yesterday, I finished this book, Things We Left Behind by Lucy School, finally. I didn't think that this would happen because this has been on my TBR for like, since it came out. So I officially finished the Knock Em Out series. Why am I filming in such a weird angle? It's because I was looking through my catalogue and I was trying to figure out like what to read next. You're probably wondering like what these tabs are about. They're not the spicy scenes. They are in fact um, the scenes where it involves the main character's cat. Um, shenanigans. I, I do enjoy the scenes. I like how this book is the one that has the cat in it, so I thoroughly enjoyed it. Today I do have the brain fog, so I'm not going to be as coherent as my previous clip. My chest feels a bit weird. I'm not in pain, so to speak, and I can breathe, but I am more congested in comparison to yesterday, so the brain is just not it. So I spent most of my time napping, and I also did read until like 3 a.m. in the morning because of this, but I was sleeping throughout the whole day. I've been basically sleeping 90% of the time, so I did take the whole entire week off, so this is a recovery process, and I've been drinking like tons of water. Thank you, Beatrix, for this one. And yeah, it's no joke but I have an awful immune system that is why it's taking forever for me and it's like no joke take it seriously guys you don't need me to spill about that going back to this book so I started reading this yesterday at 4 p.m because I filmed that clip and then I went and take uh took a shower and then I ate dinner and then I read a couple chapters took a nap read a couple chapters took a nap and that repeated process from 4 p.m. to like 3 a.m. and that's when I finished this book it did take a while to get through and at some points this book can be a little bit triggering for me so I had to like skim read certain parts of the story I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars I realistically would say it's a 3.5 because some parts were a bit iffy to me in terms of the romance, I wouldn't exactly say it's enemies to lovers, more like misunderstandings to lovers. It's a relationship between Lucian and um, Sloane. Sloane's a local librarian. Lucian is nicknamed Suit Daddy in, in the entirety of the book. He is like a business mogul. He dabbles in like questionable business activity that has to do with like politicians and he owns like a chain of like hotels. And he's just a businessman with like a shady past. When it was advertised as enemies to lovers, but they have like cute banters here and there, and I could see why they had tension between the characters and how it was built out, and it happened when they were like teenagers, and there's a lot of emotional baggage between these two characters, and I did, for the most part, enjoy it. I really like um the family dynamics in Lucy School's books but this one yeah at some points it, it was quite triggering because it does t um talk about domestic violence throughout the book so if that is not your jam i would probably tread lightly with this one it does get mentioned a couple of times people wanted me to do a wrap-up video and this is the reason why i don't really do a wrap-up or i don't do reviews on books because i am like the dyslexia and the sickness is not helping me at the moment the short version 
in my best of abilities to explain this situation is Lucian he comes from a very terrible household that's not very loving and Sloane comes from a household that's like um very warm despite the differences um they do develop a friendship and as teenagers they did get along even though like Lucian was a bad boy in the high school and Sloane was like a, a quote-unquote nerd they had like a budding friendship but they kept it in secret because they were also neighbors so something does happen between them and it happens during the teenage years because I feel like if both of them had like a conversation as adults they would have resolved it can see why it was very difficult you have to kind of read it I think about up to this point in the book you'll figure out like oh that is why they had some conflict and it's such a shame that they spent so many years apart I, I wish they were friends during the period of time but I can see why what Lucian had to go through was traumatizing what Sloane had to go through was also very traumatizing so I get it although it was not exactly what I expected when this book was initially advertised to me between three of the books that I've read in this series this is the final installment I would say this is my favorite out of the three I don't like third act breakup which can you even call it a third act breakup I will take it as is in this entire series I feel like sometimes the three male protagonists for all three books are kind of overlapping in a sense. I don't know if I'm explaining myself properly. If you want more of an elaboration down in the comments, I will try my best. I feel like the personality has been overlapping. I don't really like the third act breakup. I wish there was a more open communication, but that's on me and then my personal preference when it comes to like romance. Did like the banter. Glad they resolved their issues towards the end because it is a happy ending, but you have to read it to kind of understand um where it's coming from. And please check the true warnings before you start on this book on all three of them. This one was a little bit hard for me to read at times. So I did have to skim read certain parts, but I got, I think I read this six hours straight. It was a hefty book. It did take me a while and I did take many, many breaks in between. That's why I didn't film it. And I finally finished at like 2.50 a.m. in the morning. So it is now like almost 4 p.m. in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Should be at work. Alas, I am still very like contagious, so I can't do anything. And I take naps throughout the day. My concentration level has been like shot to hell, like same as yesterday. I think slightly today is even worse. I'm hoping the next couple of days it goes peak I'll be better again like I'm getting to the worst of it and then I can finally feel like better I'm just kind of glad that I got my booster shot before all of this because I, I got a couple of months ago before I went overseas and I, I'm glad I got my flu shot as well everything is done highly recommend it I just know for a fact that I didn't if I didn't get it I would feel even worse what am I planning to read today I also want to play um some video games on the side that book I read a four out of five on goodreads I am trying to use, start to use like Storygraph. I will transfer all my data and I'm going to push myself to use Storygraph this year. But on Goodreads, I did rate it like 4 out of 5. But initially, it is more like a 3.5 out of 5. The last 100 pages, I would say, wrapped it up really nicely. There were some parts in the middle where I'm like, I don't think this is necessary because it just makes the book drag a little bit longer. Because I have to remember, this is not romantic suspense. It's more like romance with a side of suspense. So if you like the crime with a little passion, I suppose. And there are spicy themes if that is also what you want. And that is uh, my summary of this book. If you would like to hear the nitty gritty details, you can DM me because I'm not trying to like spoil the experience for people. Next book that I potentially want to read is If You Never Come Back by Sarah Smith. I only chose this because it was like a pretty straightforward novella book that I bought like a while back that I said I'll finish but I didn't. This is another one final offer that I, that I showed yesterday but it is a chunky book and I'm trying. The concentration level is not the same as yesterday. I somehow managed to finish that book so I don't know. I'm having trouble reading again so and these ones I also want to read. Listen concentration level is so bad so I'm more, more inclined to read this. I actually want to read something to do with paranormal like supernatural kind of romance and something not too serious and I was thinking this is not paranormal romance because I can't find anything on my list so far that I want to read right now but this one 
caught my attention. I did have an off for How the Hitman Stole Christmas by Katie Ruth. I might as well read it. I know it's like February. It's almost March at this point by the time I'm finished editing this and if I can't even string a sentence at this point. But I really want to read it and it's like really hot. I think I need to take another nap and we'll see what happens when I'm done with taking that nap. I want to read some shift the romance. I don't know why. That is what I want to read. I think I've been reading too much contemporary and just need to like balance it out. That's what I've read so far. I'm pretty excited that I'm actually going through my TBR. So kudos to me. And I'll see you guys in my next clip. Oh, did I mention I've been eating cereal for the past couple of days and I need to like do a grocery order online. I'm not going to leave the house because there is no point in getting tested. I know for a fact that I'm still like very icky and contagious. So I will have to place it online grocery order because I have been drinking coffee and eating cereal like a big giant bowl of cereal to like contain my uh, hunger levels at this point so all I've been reading drinking coffee and eating a bowl of cereal like the past couple of days ever since I found out I just have no desire to eat because I lost my taste buds well I, I would say I lost like 90% of my taste bud everything just tastes disgusting and my smell is horrendous I love perfume and I can't like every day I'll be sniffing my perfume bottles hoping that I'll smell something I could smell the strong ones I can smell but the lighter ones that I really like I can't I can't smell it and the fact that I went out of my way to buy some perfumes last night makes no sense but I did place a couple orders for these ones as well I've just been retail online shopping even though I really shouldn't because I can't go to work this week uh, but I do get paid this week so I'm just trying to make myself feel better regardless that's what I've been doing and that's what I've been reading and that is TLDR my life oh yeah and the Super Bowl was yesterday my American friends so kindly reminded me and I simply slept through 90% of it kudos to you guys in my next clip it is currently thunderstorming and there was a flash flood warning I'm talking to my friends in Melbourne they just got the same warning I'm from Sydney for those of you who don't know I I'm kind of scared because my house is pretty old I don't know if you guys can hear it but um th that's it you know what I'm kind of glad I don't have to go to work today because there would be absolutely no way for me to travel back home with um, public transport today I don't get off work until like 5 15 so honestly I am struggling to breathe at the same time but I'm just glad I'm indoors I hope it doesn't flood that bad Hello everybody and welcome back. It is currently the 14th of February, Wednesday. So the next day is 12.23. I don't know if you can see that. I just got a parcel. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way, for those of you who celebrated. The angle is different because I'm switching around the books again. So I just got a parcel. I had to tell the mailman to put it on the floor and sign it for me because I didn't want to open the door in in any off chance that I was gonna spread this so I am still quarantining myself and I think I am still like very much contagious so I just didn't want to risk it and there was some language barrier and I was like hoping he could understand me so I had to bust down my elementary school mandarin to be like could you please put it on the floor and could you sign it for me thank you Considering I can't smell anything and I bought perfume, well I can smell but it's just very diluted at the moment. I hope I bought the right one. I remember one of my co-workers who offered to buy me groceries because at this point the office knows like what I'm going through because a lot of people has it. They messaged me this morning asking how I am and all of that. They, by the time the third day rolls around and you're not showing up in the office, like people will be like, where is she? What happened to her? They know now and they're, they're saying really nice things anyway i don't know if i bought the right one because i think it's actually burberry her and not burberry for women 60 percent off at like um a price line so i got it but i also did read last night so we'll also talk about it while i unbox this but i should get a pair of scissors i placed this order on like monday night or tuesday morning came by really fast so i'm surprised and so yeah i just bought burberry london for women edp 100 mils and it is currently 60 percent off so it was like 53 dollars a freaking bargain for perfume but can i actually smell it i can smell it through the box so my smell is not that bad but it is definitely like not it i love perfumes i bought a couple so i'm hoping to be able to smell it i think it is the same one because her and women have similar packaging i'm i'm really sad i can't smell a good 
Oh yeah, okay. At least I know I like the smell. I hope I get to like fully enjoy it once I am not like this anymore. So my room's gonna smell really nice now. Happy Valentine's Day to me from me. Let's talk about the books I actually read last night. To my utter surprise, I actually went through my Net Galley arcs yesterday. I read How the Hitman Stole Christmas. It was hilarious. I thought it was funny. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I wish I read it during my Christmas period. I got it around October, so I had ample time to read it. I was like distracted by like so many other things and I was like super busy excuses out of the way how the hitman stole christmas by kt bruce was like chef's kiss to me I gave it a five star I had a great time if you want a realism in this kind of story you're not gonna get it the relationship between uh, Elena I think Elena I don't know how to say her name and Theo is the other uh, is the male protagonist their relationship starts off with a bang and it sucks me right in from the very very beginning I just checked it's only 150 something pages I read it on my phone it was very fast I did send it to my kindle but I couldn't be bothered to grab my kindle it took me maybe like three four hours maybe two and a half but it felt like it was very fast paced and it was just not serious let me put this back down the story was just unhinged and if you wanted something like realistic crime driven and all of that it's not that kind of story it is more like slapstick very fast paced hero of the story Theo he is obsessive and possessive he's just like insta love if that is not your kind of thing that usually isn't my kind of thing but it is because the premise of the story is just so not serious and it's like fast paced if you want a quick and easy read it's beautiful yeah it is more like comedy i wouldn't say it's romance there is like some spicy scenes in it if that is not really your jam you're not gonna love it you're either gonna i feel like you're either gonna hate this kind of story but if you have the same similar sense of type of humor as me you're gonna enjoy the book because i had a great time it is it did not take itself too seriously which i was looking for my first five star read for this year i actually read this before how the hitman stole christmas by katie roos i read Made to the Mafia Juanita by Juanita Prax. Sorry if I pronounce your name incorrectly. Dyslexic. I wanted to read it because the cover was so pretty and it was free on Amazon one po at one point and I picked it up. This is an also unserious, unhinged kind of story. It kind of went downhill for me. There was. I need to put the scissors down. I, I don't know how to explain it because did I laugh? Was it funny at some point? Yes, but it just didn't flow as well as how the Hitman Stole Christmas and I didn't know like uh, how to rate it. I gave it a 2 out of 5 because of the writing and the pacing. I feel like there's unserious and unhinged stories that you can do really well, but personally for me, it just didn't hit the mark. Like um, multiple parts to the story, so the first book uh, does end on a cliffhanger and it is not a full length novel it's more like a novella so jenny our main female protagonist of the story has to become a maid for the mafia boss dad and his sister owes the mafia boss like three million dollars they run away and then they use jenny the heroine of the story as collateral she goes up to the mafia boss without knowing this um with a letter from her dad and then the letter basically says like this is my daughter she's gonna be collateral and blah 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 and she becomes the maid of the household the mafia boss tries to yeet her a couple of times and she's like nah you can't get rid of me and that's the premises of the story it does end on a cliffhanger because there's like several parts to the story and i just cannot be bothered it's not on kindle unlimited i don't have kindle unlimited so it's not like i can read it even if it was but it's not on kindle limited i don't want to pay for the story but the first part of the story is free it was a quick read but it just didn't it was funny but it was just it was not it for me and then the other two books that i listened to on audible was teach me the ropes and back in the saddle by vanessa vale i have read several of her other books in the past and more like manage and all of that which isn't really my jam but i i do read anything so it was on my audible plus and it follows the oldest brother in the first book and the second oldest brother in the second book anyway it's part of the bachelor auction series teach me the ropes is a small town romance between the local fire warden my neighbors are hella noisy so if you hear that once again put the scissors down my neighbors are hella noisy so if you're hearing like random noises i'm trying my best to like film whenever that like done teach me the ropes by vanessa vale is a relationship between like a preschool or elementary school or like child care worker she's new in town she's very young so there is an age gap and between the firefighter of the lo local small town like the premises of the story they are men in the family the brothers 
prizes are auctioned off in this charity event for a date. So the women will bid for like a chance to go on a date with these men. So the first story surrounds the first brother, the oldest one, firefighter and childcare worker. And she's in like financial distress and there's a whole situation because the, the men in the story are richy rich and there's a whole plot device about how she's not like the rest. She's not a gold digger like her previous partner and she's like a strong independent woman and all of that. There's obviously more. I'm just condensing the story from memory. I just don't know how to describe things properly. Second book of the series is Back in the Saddle. It is a second chance romance between the local police officer or police chief and a mechanic I suppose. She wants to become a mechanic. She went to school for accounting but anyway. Anyway, so she is an accountant and there's this uh, whole second chance romance. I did like the second book better than the first book. Um, I felt like there was more of a story there, but two of them short audio books novella kind of situation so it was a very fast read for me but I read four things yesterday two which is on a similar vein very unserious I did rate the bachelor auction series like three stars each it was an average read for me but I did have a good time the second one I would say 3.5 the reason why I didn't read the third book was because I had to pay for it it was not part of the audio plus catalog or else I would have read it as well so I didn't sleep until like 3 a.m again this schedule is really bad I think at night I have trouble breathing so reading actually takes my mind off the stuff and in a sense I kind of flip my schedule again I am a night night owl kind of person I've never been like a morning person so it was something I read four books yesterday this one I don't know what I'm going to read today I think I'm gonna start working on my net galley catalog how the hitman so Christmas was part of my net galley catalog I would like to go through the list I'm currently sitting on like 82% and I would like to request some new books but I have to go through my catalog before I can do that there's a couple that I'll like to read I'm actually trying to look for something like paranormal romancy to read but nothing is really capturing my attention at the moment I'm looking for more of a fantasy shifter kind of vibe I'm not looking looking for fantasy fantasy with the swords and stuff maybe I am I don't know what I want I'm looking at my physical TBR and I did have some library loans here as well contenders plenty of things to read gonna lie back down I need to lie down I'm getting dizzy again hello everybody it is me again it is currently 15th of Feb 152 so Thursday another day has passed and unfortunately I still feel sick so I think I'm still contagious so We'll see tonight. I was planning on doing a kit test yesterday, but there was no point because I knew I was sick and I wasn't going anywhere. So I got my parcel. I also just got my groceries delivered to my house because I can't leave at the moment. I'm pretty sure all my books are coming tomorrow or Monday. I got free express shipping from Mecca. And once again, take a guess what I could possibly have bought this time. I did buy more perfume. It's funny that I can't smell anything and that's the only thing I bought. I also placed like a, another order from Mecca because the beauty loot boxes came out a day after I placed this order. So I bought more perfume from the Replica range and I can't pronounce the brand but it is this. I have one of their scents which is the green tea one and that one I don't really vibe with. I made a mistake of buying the biggest bottle so I went for like the smaller ones. And since I have the spicy flu, I don't know if I can actually smell it. I have Lazy Sunday Morning and Jazz Club which is like two of the most best sellers is Lazy Sunday Morning. I don't know. This one smells a little bit synthetic. We'll put her right here. But I don't hate it, which is you should never buy perfumes blindly and especially when you're sick and can't smell but here I am and Jazz Club is one of the more popular ones I really wanted to buy the one that starts with Star and another one that has On A Date I think it's called don't know they're newer scents and limited editions so I don't want to risk it I need to smell and store once I get better I will do that because I do work near Mecca so I can do that shouldn't be spraying on the same hand but I do like clean scents, but I do like Jazz Club a little bit more than Lazy Sunday Morning, which is 
surprising. Maybe because I can't smell at the moment and Jazz Club is a little bit more stronger. This is the sample I got. So they generate um, hue and conditioner before. So I will bring that with me once I have the ability to travel again. This was very expensive, but nevertheless, it was cheaper buying it in a set like this. And from now on, I'm only buying smaller bottles of perfumes because I'm never going to get through all of the perfumes that I have. I can put aside and I will be reusing it in the future for something. On to my grocery haul. I had to put back all the frozen stuff and all the ice cream that I chose were sold out. So I don't have a single tub of ice cream and it is hot well today it is actually really cold in sydney other days it's really hot i got the cadbury 12 ice latte flavor don't know if i can taste it hopefully i can i also have some cookie dough Kit Kat flavor which is also new and smarties i bought instant coffee bags which i've never tried before but i'm running low on food I bought like groceries, like fruits and vegetables there in the pantry. They are not that exciting to show. But what I really wanted to show you guys was these cold builders. If you spend like over 30 bucks on certain like products, you get like extra sets. So we're going to open up the first kit and see what Pokemon we get. Well, you guys get to see it before I do. Oh. Ooh, we have the last toy. Slay. Fill that later. What did I get? I had to tell my co-workers to like, get these for me. I'm, I'm getting a good one. I got a Dragonite. Slay. Wow. I thought I would get like a Pikachu or something, but I'm happy with these ones. You have the dragon. Oh, cute, cute. Anyway, that's the grocery portion of the whatever this is. If you're like my friends from high school, because I just got a notification yesterday that one of my high school friends followed me on this channel and I am horrified because I do read some questionable things. I was hoping that they were following my gaming one because that at least is like a proper channel, but this is just like, I don't know, man. Haven't seen her in a couple of years, so shout out to you, Bessie. I won't name drop, but just in case you don't want to be known, but I do in fact get notifications of who subscribes to this channel and hi, long time no see. And you know what? Let's make it super uncomfortable by showing the things that I've been reading for the past you know two days so on Wednesday night I started the Kodiak Point series which is a shifter romance at least it's not a mega burst so I, I really am jumping into the deeper waters so the first book of the series is Kodiak's Claim so it's a bear shifter romance I thought it was a pretty predictable storyline and it's a kind of strangers to lovers like um a little bit enemies to lovers kind of story if you've read anything from eve it's even hit or miss for me personally i do like her books i have read her alien romance she's the romance before but this is like her earlier work back in like 2015 if you just want a quick shift of romance and it was like an audio plus catalog pick so it was free and that's why i picked it up and i saw it was only like six hours and i listened to audiobooks on like 2.5 times speed sometimes three times speed so it was like a quick read so i started on wednesday night and i didn't read a lot yesterday because i was distracted i started editing these clips so i spent most of my time like trying to put all the clips into the computer and edit and then i gamed a little bit more because i'm playing this ranking game on this like um i play this game called bang green and i'm trying to maintain my status being in the top 500 league pretty sure by the time i finished filming this video i got pushed down then i started the second book which is out fox by love and i just finished it before i started filming this portion of the video i like the second story of the series a little bit more it is a there's a lot of military vibes in these books even despite it being like a shifter romance which i don't really understand because i don't come from that kind of background and i'm not american so a lot of things are like but i've read enough like romance books with different genres to kind of grasp what a little understanding of it and i do have friends from america that can explain things to me the amount of crazy well quote-unquote crazy books that i read and then i go into the group chat and i just spring it on them like random things and they're like why are you asking us this like what kind of books are you reading at the moment i'm like don't worry about it just explain it to me elaborate on it did i mention i'm like 30 years old so yeah horrific horrific if you've stumbled upon this and you know me since high school you'll be like what happened to her i've always been a little bit nuts but this is you know what it's okay let's keep the mysterious vibes going let's not traumatize my old friends anymore if there's anything worth updating i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get some stuff from kmart in the afternoon i'm still waiting for that parcel it's been split into three parcels and i'm still waiting for my books i did order 
builders and books and I bought something that I told my friends that I wasn't gonna buy and I'm gonna show it eventually if it comes within this week if not then you may never see it but anyway I do feel a little bit better even though I'm like still congested in my nose and stuff and everything do occasionally cough but not too bad so my symptoms are still there I think it's manageable because I did get a booster I'm still thinking it's because of the booster shot that I'm like not as bad as I thought I might be I'll check in with you guys in my next clip it is currently 4 p.m. My parcel from Kmart came. I'm freaking hoping the other two comes in tomorrow. It has like these absorber knees that luckily I don't need for the next couple of days because we're having like flash flood warnings. But nevertheless, I would like to have my parcel. What I really want is my BW parcel because that's where all the books that I really want. I'm hoping will arrive before the weekend because they don't deliver on the weekends here. So it's not like I have nothing to do. Like I've actually been playing Honkai Star Rail for the past two hours. So I have not done a single reading if you count the storyline in the game reading then i suppose that's reading i'm actually playing on a different server washi tape that i really didn't need but it was on sale and um this was a viral product on australian tiktok this is the crispy marshmallows so like the thing suggests it's supposed to be like crispy marshmallows it was sold out for a very long time i don't know if i should trust skincare or food from kmart but I just like to say like if you're American and you're watching this like Kmart isn't it out of business? American Kmart and American uh, Australian Kmart two very different things so I've always wanted to try these out I've heard mainly good things but I've always been very curious not the best time to be tasting these because I have the big old COVID so I don't even know if it's true to taste because of my taste buds but here goes nothing I'm pretty sure my taste buds are gone, so I can't say for sure, but if my taste buds was, was still like alive and thriving, I would think this is way too sweet for me. I, I don't know. We'll come back to this. For now, I can't really taste anything but the sugar, and I think once I get my taste buds back, I would hate this. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm hoping that is a better experience than it, this. You guys um, are currently like, like crooked at the moment, but this is the best that I can offer you guys. Turns out all my other parcels are gonna be delayed. So today it is Friday, 16th of Feb, 2024, 10.22. I just got my first parcel. I'm hoping my other ones, they're meant to be delivered today. So I, another parcel from Mecca, like I said yesterday. I had the option of having express shipping. I think this is my Mecca parcel. Yep, it is my Mecca parcel. So I made some pretty expensive purchases. I should not be left on my own devices. Sometimes I'm too busy at work. I, I have no time to shop and I just like shop in person these days like um, on the weekends I'm back to my online shopping era which is bad because look at that look at this this is from yesterday so I really don't need this I think most people wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about but if you're from Australia I'm talking about like the beauty loop boxes so every couple of months you get like a freebie if you you can just go to the store and grab it for free but unfortunately I still have lingering symptoms and I'm not going to chance it and risk somebody else. So that's why I'm ordering online. But usually you can just go into the store and grab it for free. You don't need to buy something. Let's do an unboxing. I did buy the Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. The 75ml version. This is a limited edition one. I think that's most likely going to be a gift to my mom. And I got a hydrating moisturizer as the extra sample. I've seen like what you can possibly get. There's like two kill sets and like an Iliad blush. I'm hoping it's skincare because I do wear makeup. But these days I'm freaking lazy. But it sounds like there's like, a couple of things in here. Okay, so hoping it's skincare and the one I wanted... <laughs> Yeah, it is the kill set. Yes, dark spot solution, the ultra cream. I've used it before. It doesn't really make a difference. I prefer the uh, Tatcha, but it's the Tatcha is expensive. But this is like it comes out every couple of years and um, powerful strengthening. I haven't used that one before and clearly corrective dark spot solution. Yeah, 
beautiful hopefully i'll get my books today because this is a book channel it would be great if i could get those things this was very expensive i'm not gonna even look at my car purchases i haven't gone wild ever since i came back so i was like really good recuperating from my trip last month i'm also going to taylor swift next week so i'll be spending some money at the merch stand i am only gonna buy a hoodie and a t-shirt but the hoodie is like 120 australian dollars and a t-shirt is like from memory is like 75 or something like that i'm thinking about buying a bracelet but i have to see it in person as well but the merch they're expensive i can't even go earlier to buy because i have to go to work at this point because i took this entire week off due to this um originally the plan i was going to take thursday and friday off friday for the actual concert and thursday to like buy merch but at this point i'm just gonna have to take friday off because there's no way that i will make it in time like i'm going to be good after taylor swift and then i'm just not gonna spend any money because i have to see you guys in my next clip i didn't read anything so there's nothing to like update you guys about i was rereading fry by ellie hazelwood and that's about it and i've read it like a couple of times already like I, i'll read specific chapters so i don't really consider that really um reading or anything of value to add Ta-da! bye i just want to know why my kindle's doing this why please don't do this to me oh my god no you can kind of see it um, I don't think I'm reading this book, don't worry. I'm not ready for it. I recently saw someone do a review on it and it ain't for me. I'll read it eventually, but not today. But what the hell is this? Absolutely not. It's like my Kindle knows I have like backup Kindles. Hello, hello. It is currently 5.34 p.m. Saturday, 17th of Feb. And I just finished Same Time Next Year by Tessa lately. But before I start talking about that book, let's retract and go back to yesterday when I completely forgot to, like, film. There's a lot of moving parts at the moment because I was, like, filming myself, like, getting dressed up in the group chat because I am going to the Taylor Swift concert next week. I'm, I got really excited because I started watching Melbourne's Night One show, like, her first show in Australia, and she... The surprise song. If you don't want to hear it, fast forward 30 seconds. The surprise song for first night in Melbourne was You're Losing Me and Red. Red first, then You're Losing Me. First time ever she performed it and I was from her new album and I'm just like, that should that could have been me. I should have fought harder for tickets, but I am going to Sydney night one. So if you see me in the wild, come say hi. I will not be having any friendship bracelets because I don't have that kind of talent or the patience to make it. And besides, I am kind of sickly and I don't want to cross contaminate. I did a test. I am currently negative. Thank goodness. It took about a little bit over a week, I think. Think. but i still wear this just in case so it is saturday so tomorrow is my last day to like fully read and then i'll go back to work but nevertheless before i go back into work i will test again just in case i like to know 100 percent. my chest still feels a bit icky but other than that i'm okay luckily i actually recorded what i read on goodreads or else i would completely have forgotten to like update but the first book i read yesterday was how the grinch lost it after santa part of the hollywood hearts like book number one it is a novella by Helen Walton and it was fine. I don't remember the characters' names, okay? It's very fast-paced and I just read it, but the main story, TLDR, was between an actor and actress and they were talking about a kissing scene. Apparently, the dude was supposedly in a relationship, at least our FMC thought he was in a relationship, but it turns out he wasn't. And every single time they will kiss on stage, like she'll feel sparks and she's trying not to feel sparks because in her head she's like oh he's in a relationship i shouldn't be like thinking this way but i can't help but think this way so it did give me kind of like icky vibes but it turns out he was single personally for me i i didn't particularly love that it wasn't for me but i rated it two out of five because the story was fine and then the next book i read which is also another novella or a prequel so it was pretty short was untamed part of the two mark series by renee rose and vanessa vale if you want to it a short shift or spicy romance i guess that's the kind of book that you're gonna get the reason why i didn't continue with the series is because it was not part of audible plus catalog and i did not want to use up a credit it was pretty predictable so those are the two books i read yesterday and they were pretty quick because they're novellas so same time next year by tessa bailey is a short 
novella story, hockey romance between yeah, a hockey player and a bar owner. It's marriage of convenience and the reason why I can still remember stuff is because I just read it like less than an hour ago. It got me a bit like weirded out because the FMC, her name is Bruda and I kept thinking about the Bruda water filter. I'm so sorry if that is your name. I don't mean it in a negative sense but I don't know why my brain is the way it is. But anyway, so it's a relationship between her and the hockey player. What is his name again? Sumner. S-U-M-N-E-R is the male protagonist name if you are familiar with hockey i don't think you would enjoy this book because as you can probably tell i'm not really into sports i read a good amount of sports romance to know like basic things about hockey and even i'm like i don't think that's true i'm not canadian so if you're canadian and you're reading this this you might feel differently as well you probably have more knowledge than me but even i was like raising my eyebrows and for like marriage of convenience in america i don't think it's that easy to get a green card like i understand this is a novella so it's fast paced so it makes sense for like things to jump from one point to another like but at the same time it's so far-fetched but i also have to think this is a fiction book it is a story if you're going into it for vibes maybe it'll work the relationship was fine if you wanted to read something spicy with like hockey as a theme then there's that but hockey doesn't really get mentioned that much it's more like their relationship i can relate to the fmc british um, pov because that is how i feel towards like relationship and stuff so i in that sense i did relate to her but it can also be like really frustrating um because that was the hang up of their relationship how she felt towards commitment i can see that so bear that in mind if you're gonna go into it it was a quick read but i'm really having a hit and miss with like tessa bailey lately if i didn't know anything about hockey i think i would have rated a three star but after like thinking about it two to a 2.5 out of five that is my review of it if you can't even call it that alas these are my personal opinions everybody's different like i mentioned in all of my videos these are all my personal opinions please don't feel offended Feel free to have a healthy discussion with me. I would like to see everyone's perspective. This is just how I feel towards certain stories. It's my own hangout, I know, because I read a lot of romance, but in real life, I don't really care for romance. It's, it's strange. Maybe I'm reading Escaping into this because one day I do believe that it might happen, but I'm really, like, headstrong. I don't know. It's my weird hangout. I was reading off my iPad out of all the things I have. I was reading off the iPad, which hurt my eyes. I'm going to look through my iPad to see if there's any um, additional Kindle books with Audible compatible so I can like read while listening as well because it helps me <laughs> to pronounce certain characters' names. When I read it and then I hear the Audible version, I'm like, oh, I've been thinking it very incorrectly all this time. But anyway, that's what I've read so far. Might update a little bit later today. Or I might show the next clip and it'll be the final one on Sunday. And then I'm going to go back to work on Monday. Slay. But anyway, um, see you guys in my next clip.